Okay guys, it's another beautiful day with your girl Chica and this is the lockdown time and guess leo tuko na nani? It's an amazing lady. Dada ambaye kwa sasa anamiliki nyimbo tatu tu mjini ila anatikisa. Anatikisa sana. So, you wanna know who she is? She is Sarafina anajiita the melanin queen. Hi baby girl. Hello. Ambo poa. <laughs> Kwanza umependeza sana. Asante sana. Come on. <laughs> okay, I, I nataka nijue nani kausika kwenye muonekano wako kuanzia outfit mpaka makeup and those glasses na nywele and every single thing. Every single thing. Okay, so my boots. I'm a fan of boots kwanza. Napenda sana boots. So this is Shane I collections. She's a friend of mine and afanya hizi. And um So this uh, over shirt is from Salsa Vintage. She's also a friend of mine. She designed me. And then he in Yesi hair, Yesi beauty belts. She did my hair. And uh, glasses is me. Kwa kangaika kutafuta vitu and the trousers pia. Pamoja na the makeup is also me. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so you are a makeup artist cuz I'm not on fanya makeup nzuri. It's on point. Uh, so specifically mimi i have uh, kitu fulani ambacho kwamba nikitaka kitu kifanyike i want it to be done uh, in a certain way au kwa muda fulani vi uh, so if it doesn't get done then ta- i got my way nitajifunza and then ta- nikishajifunza then tafanya mwenyewe so it, it helps me save time kwa sababu kuliko kama hapa kinishtua like uje kufanya interview somewhere au kufanya kitu fulani somewhere I'm like eh paka nile nikafanya makeup somewhere although naendaga lakini uh, this saves me a lot of time a lot of energy yeah yeah sure okay let's talk about <coughs> Sarafina from BSS at now i just a little summary of Sarafina from BSS paka sasa hivi katupa story kidogo tu Okay. So Sarafina BSS ni pale tu ambapo nimeanza kuonekana kwenye industry lakini Sarafina has been singing kuanzia yuko kadogo dogo hivi. Tangia niko uh, mimi nimekulia kwenye familia ya uh, religious. So <laughs> I've been singing uh, tangia niko mdogo sana. Tangia hata sijielewi elewi. So nilikuwa naendaga Sunday school kwenye hizi sherehe shere za watoto nini unaimba so kuna siku moja kwenye mazoezi then mwalimu akawa amespot kama kuna kama ni nimeimba ni, ni kama tofauti na wengine like i can lead or something mimi hata sielewi and then akawa ananipa role ananipa role nikaendelea ku lead and then one day kanisani everybody was like wow mtoto mdogo anatoa sauti kama hiyo and then ndo nikawa najiuliza unaona wow nyingi kumbe people were beginning to recognize kitu ambacho niko ni nacho so nikaendelea tu hivyo nilikuwa nafanya kwa sababu tunapenda nini na it makes me happy kwa hiyo nikaendelea hivyo na shuleni nikawa na a singing group mimi kila <laughs> shuleni i must have a singing group yani lazima so nikafanya fanya hivyo kwa kika, bila mimi kujua kinaendelea kukua kidogo kidogo kwa hiyo uh, baada hiyo ni primary school baada hapo nika nikaenda zangu secondary school nimesoma St Mary Goretti Moshi na it is seminary school kwa hiyo wamenoa sana kwa sababu kule tunaimba tulikuwa tunaimba sio kitoto <laughs> kila siku tunaimba and people walikuwa wanapenda sana my, my uh, the power in my voice uh, the message walikuwa wanapenda ni kuna namna nikiimbisha mimi people are like unajua they moved some of them used to cry kabisa kwa hiyo kuna wengine walikuwa wananiomba kabisa Sarafina naomba naomba u lead leo praise u lead na I'm like okay okay why like you lead praise mimi na worship and I was like if you can do if you can make that impact kwa maisha ya mtu hata kama ni mtu mmoja you have lived your life to the fullest you know that's what i believe yeah kwa hiyo uh, ikaendelea hivyo then kika kinakuwa mpaka head of school akawa na recognize na nini sister nchao <laughs> she could be watching this someday lakini she has nurtured me sana uh tuka record record album pale shuleni kwa sababu she didn't want ni, ni kiondoka uh, niondoke na nyimbo zangu zote na ule ufundi wote so tuka aka, aka leta recording uh, team tukafanya recording tukafanya so mimi nikaingia studio kwa mara ya kwanza wakati niko shule kwa hiyo they were supporting us kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba vipaji vinakuwa and then baada hapo nikaenda nikaenda chuo 
chuo sasa <laughs> nikaa na tafu- <laughs> University of Dar es Salaam pale mnyamani so chuo nikaa na tafuta any mimi i'm always like looking for somewhere nitaonekana wapi where can where, how can i reach to the people and you with what i am blessed with kwa hiyo nikaa naenda tu kanisani nikaa naenda tu praise and worship and then nikaa nasikia kitu kinani push zaidi yani go bigger go bigger nikaa naangaika kwenye karaoke competitions nimefanya karaoke competition uh, mikasa lounge nimefanya pale nikashinda uh, i think ilikuwa ni 2017 or something ni kama mwaka wa pili hivi and then baada ya hapo yule uh, boss wa mikasa aliona kwamba i have something different and paka leo mimi anani support kwa sababu uh, yani ali yani kuna namna somebody just notices kwamba wote wa watu watano wanaimba lakini Sarafina is different kwa hiyo it takes uh, something in somebody else to notice that real recognize is real so uh, baada ya hapo ndo akawa amenishauri marafiki zangu na 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 watu tofauti tofauti tu akawa ananiambia why don't you go bigger labda uende kwenye uh, mashindano makubwa hapa ni nikana sita sita bado nikana naenda kuimba kwenye bendi nikana yani any anywhere ambako naweza nikajinoa ama nika nikaonekana nika move watu nika nikagusa watu nilikuwa nachukua opportunity kwa hiyo baada ya hapo i was like okay maybe i can go bigger and then yakaja mashindano ya bongo star search sasa 2018 And then kipindicho nilikuwa da Dar es Salaam nilikuwa shule chuo pale and then I was like nataka nishiriki ya mashindano lakini najua kwamba unajua from my background and everything lazima nitakatisha tamaa sana kwa sababu uh, kanisani alafu uanze kwenda kuimba nyimbo za kibongo flavor na nini kuanzia kwa wazazi kwa familia kwa marafiki sio kitu ambacho ni, ni, ni it's, it was a heavy decision for me to make and I made it alone Yaani nilihakikisha nimefanya tu mwenyewe kwa sababu sikutaka kusikia hata neno moja la kunikatisha tamaa sikutaka I didn't tell anybody. So you 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 came up ukaenda mpaka kushiriki BSS mashindano ambayo by the way yanaogopa unaweza kukuta mtu anaimba lakini anakuambia mimi BSS siwezi kushiriki. <laughs> like okay kwa ukaamua tu like yourself ukaamua kwamba I'm going and without telling anybody na ukaenda kushiriki. Yeah, of course uh, mashindano ya bongo sasa ni mashindano makubwa sana hapa Tanzania na yanafuatiliwa sana. Kwa hiyo mimi nilivyoona hivyo nikasemaje? I, I feel like this is uh, this is my season. Uh, nikasema wacha niende nikashiriki. And then nilitaka kufanya uh, auditions kutoka nyumbani mwanza. So kipindi hicho nilikuwa namalizia malizia shule mitihani nini nikamomba sana Mungu anisaidie auditions tarehe zitangazwe muda ambao naweza nikawa nyumbani nilifanyie nyumbani kwa sababu niko sitaki kwenda ku represent mkoa mwingine wote just wanted to represent home kwa hiyo uh, nika nashukuru Mungu ikaja tarehe ambayo ni kwani nimeshamaliza kabisa mtihani anyway so mimi of course i didn't tell my parents the whole truth nikaa nimwambia kwamba bado nipo nipo dar lakini the truth is Parents forgive me. Nilikuja nyumbani and then nikafikia kwa rafiki yangu kwa sababu I wanted uh, kwenda kufanya his auditions bila distraction kwanza. And then I, I could come and explain myself later, which is not such a great thing to do. Lakini uh, if you need to focus, you have to do what you got to do, you know. So nikaenda nyumbani lakini nikawa nimekaa kwa my friend uh, like a few days kama siku tatu hivi uh, siku mbili zipo za auditions kwa nikaenda sasa ubaya <laughs> auditions na zenyewe zipo karibia kabisa na same ambao my parents wanafanya kazi so i had to cover myself kabisa yeye ni kofia ni vice hivi vitu gani ili nahakikisha kwamba na shiriki naondoka nikipita na kuja na shiriki naondoka it's done alafu then i can deal with that problem badai it's a later problem kwa hiyo eh, nilifanikiwa nilifanikiwa siku ya kwanza nikaenda kwa mizuko suko tu hivi unajua naingia kuna sitoki kwa sababu nikitoka who knows somebody might recognize me and then my cover will be blown unajua so uh, i went kwenye mashindano and niliamka mapema sana nilikuwa i think kwa tano kwenda kufanya his audition yani i was so determined nilikuwa mapema sana and then i got a chance kwenda ku uh, fanya audition the moment i stepped in there nikaimba uh, nyimbo yangu ya kwanza i think ilikuwa ni hallelujah yeah 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 hallelujah so uh, everybody was blown and they were like wow madam rita was like wow and like 
Master J was like, wow, that is talent right there. Kwa hiyo, I was so nervous. Nikuwa 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 very encouraging for me na ili boost confidence yangu sana and nikapata pass pale pale kwamba I'm, I'm on for the next uh, audition kwa hiyo i was so happy eh, nikatoka i grab my stuff nikarudi <laughs> nikarudi nikokuwa and then the next day i was i was just praying to god and and saidia and ile kunifungulia nje kwa you might be very talented you you huge lakini unajua mungu akikufungulia njia akikupa kibali chake anybody will just accept you kwa hiyo nikaenda tena the next day nikaingia zangu pale nikafanya hiyo audition uh, i don't remember the second song nilofanya lakini nilifanya tena and they were blown lakini hata walivonipokea mara ya pili walinipokea kama yani mshindi unaelewa i felt that vibe kwa hiyo uh, and they were very very welcoming na you know they notice if there's something in you yeah kwa hiyo um, ni shindano ambalo obviously yani it's very uh, valid kwa msingi huo so um, nikapita and then baada ya kupita hapo we were so happy tumeitwa and then tukapewa zawadi na nini i was so happy because i felt that uh, fulfillment sense of fulfillment unajua kwa hiyo uh, baada ya hapo tukawa tumeambiwa twende zetu nyumbani and then tutatafutwa kufanya kuja Dar es Salaam kwa ajili ya camping and everything Wayo, well, nikaenda nyumbani like nothing happened, like I just landed. <laughs> so you can imagine that. Yeah, nimefika pale. Nobody knew. So I was just like, okay, let's just keep it this way mpaka nikikaribia and then I can just sit down with my parents ni waeleze and then I can do it. Ah, uh, okay, so nimeka and then a few days kabla ya kurudi huko. Ah, they aired the show. Ah, my dad my dad and my mom <laughs> wana deal sana biashara zao na deal na watu so people were like okay this is your daughter and my dad was like my daughter how where kuangalia <laughs> it's it's his daughter kweli and he called me right away akaniambia sara fi na nimekuona nimekuona huku umepokea tv umenanili kwa nini unaniambia i was so nervous kwa sababu i didn't really feel so good kwa sababu sikumwambia mapema lakini um, I want I, of course I was going to tell him kwa sababu you know you need parents blessings in any way ili kuweza kufanya mambo yako so um, I remember I was so nervous yani nilikaa nilikuwa siwezi yani nazunguka tu kule ndani kwa sababu nimekamatwa unajua eh uh, nasema nini kwa hiyo I waited for him laba tuongee baadaye then akaja nyumbani he didn't say anything <laughs> kimya he yani psychologically mm, alijua kuniweza <laughs> and then i just had to kwa sababu i knew okay but by then nikajua kwamba he was waiting for me kufanyaje step up speak for myself unajua so nikawa najivuta vuta naomba Mungu anisaidie na angaika na and then akaenda kazini kama kawaida and it was just one day kesho yake ilikuwa natakiwa niondoke i had to get put my stuff together and nikasimama nikamtafuta nikaenda nikamfuata kazini nikaongea naye kamuelezea kato ananisikiliza mhm 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 kwa hiyo lini nikamwambia nilikuwa nataka nikwambie lakini unajua i just didn't know how to start na nini kwa sababu you know it's, it's it's music you know it's not shule it's not you know you have a job in the BOT and stuff kwa hiyo akaniruhusu uh, kwa sababu it's something ambayo i really wanted to do i think aliona and Uh, he wasn't 100% in lakini you know Joe he was just like okay she wants it let me just give her and see tutafika wapi and then akaniruhusu nikaja nimekuja nikaingia camp so camp bongo star search uh, nilikuwa nasoma bado nilikuwa nafanya mashindano kwao tuko pale kambini lakini some days i would ask for permission kidogo kwenda shule kwenda kufanya laba practicals na nini laboratory kwa sababu nilikuwa nachukua bachelor's in petroleum chemistry so you can't just <laughs> tokeza siku za mitiani hapana lazima kuna vitu lazima unaniliwa attend na nini hivi kwa i tried my best to attend as many uh, vipindi as possible 
na huku na kwenye was trying my best uh, kuweza kushiriki at 100%. Kwa hiyo haikuwa kazi rahisi kubalance hivi vitu viwili lakini uh, namshukuru Mungu niliweza kubalance kwa sababu gani? Uh, okay, tumaliza kwanza ku Bongo Star Search. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Bongo Star Search niliweza ku, kunolewa sauti yangu vizuri kwa sababu we had a vocal trainer. Uh, vocal trainer alinisaidia sana and mimi nime advance pale nime grow kwa kweli. Uh, kwa it's one thing ambao naishukuru sana platform ya Bongo Star Search na imenipa platform mimi ya kuto kuja kuanza zero kwa sababu kuna watu tayari ambao walikuwa wameshaanza kunifuatilia na wameshajua at least Rafina ukitaja mm, ah huyo ah yeah by the way i had just one hairstyle i had just this big hairstyle na niliweka throughout mpaka mwisho and people were like kwa nini umeweka tu hiyo style people walikuwa wanabadilisha my fellow contestants walikuwa wanabadilisha wanafanya lakini mimi nikienda nataka hiyo by the way i'm a fan of uh, african culture yani culture culture nini ni vitu vyangu sana i had to change kidogo sasa hivi kwa sababu you know you have to be versatile to be able to relate sana lakini i i have that still you know i still have that <laughs> yeah but it's part of me So um nikafanya mashindano Bongo Star Search nika nikawa natoboa unajua top 30 top 15 sasa hapo ndugu zangu ananiangalia my brothers my my mom my dad how they were like they were like okay labda mwanzoni walikuwa wanaona kama okay atafanya alafu but yani sio kushindwa lakini they just didn't believe it 100% kwamba is it like real when it asa nikawa natoboa tu natoboa tu ndio like okay maybe there's something there so but i they started you know calling me and encouraging me kwamba okay make sure you balance shule you know parents they protective and they're concerned kwa hiyo and ukiamua okay, umeamua kufanya huko na kwenye pambana kaza my dad akaanza kunipigia kura kuliko mtu yoyote <laughs> Yaani from Noah akana nipigie simu ananiambia unajua mimi na nakupigia kura uliko mtu yoyote kila siku lazima ni, ni kupigia kura kama kumi hivi nikasema ah this is really you know, this is just god mingo god is this is god because that's you see kuelezea how that happened because you know my dad is a strict guy kwa hiyo um, baada ya hapo oh my family was on my side my brother too alikuwa hajaamini hiki kitu sana lakini kuna muda alipika pakawa ameelewa kwamba there's something in me na akanisaidia vile vile kuwa anaongea na my parents kuwasaidia kuelezea unajua sometimes <coughs> parents wanaweza wasitaki hata kuongea na wewe unajua but you need somebody ambaye anaweza akakusaidia akakuelewa akakusaidia ku unajua ku bridge so he played a very big part in that na we're good mpaka sasa hivi anani support kwa hiyo baada ya hapo tukaingia kwenye finals na nini uh, it was a it was a tight experience mwishoni kwa sababu ah, kila mtu alikuwa na kaza unajua everybody wants the crown unajua wants the throne kwa hiyo uh, nikapambana mimi nikakaza to challenge myself kwa mara ya kwanza nika rap kwenye kwenye kuna nyimbo mbao ni <laughs> I did a reggae and then nika rap kwa sababu my vocal trainer uh, our teacher alikuwa na, anasikiliza nyimbo ambazo tunataka kufanya and then uh, nikampelekea option ya hiyo reggae and this other thing and then akanambia reggae there's rap you're doing that nikamwambia mimi sijai ku rap mwalimu sijawahi akanambia no unaweza kaza nienda kakariri hizo mistari just get the vibe na nini fanya i know you can do it i was so nervous yani i was so nervous uh, that competition ili il challenge kutoka nje ya my comfort zone ambayo nilikuwa nimeshazoea tu kuimba hizi nyimbo za kina Maria Carey na nini the panda shuka nini vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo uh, there was that na kitu kingine ni niliweza kuimba taarabu <laughs> I made sure my, my tactic ama my technique ya kupambana kwenye hilo shindano kwa sababu lazima you, you got to have it, uh, something ambacho eh, eh. ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha every time nikipanda na napanda na different style napanda na different style so people be expecting Sarafina anakuja kitu gani sasa hivi hivi Sarafina kwani anaweza kafanya hiki hapo you surprise them kwa hiyo nilifanya nyimbo ya South Africa huko ya lugha ya ki South Africa huko uh, by the way I'm very good cramming vitu mabu <laughs> sometimes vielewi <laughs> lakini na vikariri kama vilivyo so yeah after that nikafanyaga um, bongo flavor nyimbo ya maua sama yokote and i nailed that one and 
mwingine sana ni kondo hiyo uh, yenye rap uh, Lauren Hill I'm a fan of Lauren Hill na nyingine ilikuwa ndio yote taarabu watu wengi sana walishangaa mimi kufanya taarabu na nashukuru Mungu nilizendea haki and iliniongezea sana fan base na watu ambao walinikubali zaidi kwa hiyo um, baada ya hapo ndo nikaweza kupata bahati ama blessing ya kushinda yule shindano 2018 I took the crown home yay I was really excited kwa sababu um, I felt fulfilled kwa sababu um, my family was there to support me my my mom and dad hawakuja physically lakini my mom was praying for me she was following unajua alikuwa anaangalia kwenye tv na kwa sababu ilikuwa na inaruka yeah and, and everything kwa hiyo my dad too kwa hiyo walikuwa nafuatilia wana ni encourage na nini i felt so good na baada hapo nilirudi nyumbani the next day kwa sababu tulirudi usiku sana and they were already sleeping they called me my mom was like i'm so proud of you i'm so so very proud of you yani umeshinda kuna nimekuombea sana my mom ananiombea sana <laughs> sana mama yangu ananiombea sana kuliko mtu yote akasema my dad was also like hello unaona sasa zile kura zangu ambazo nilikuwa nakupigia unaona zimefanya kazi sasa ukimaliza rudi shule <laughs> Yeah, by the way kuna muda kabisa alinipigia kwenye shindano kwenye nani kwenye uh, kipindi ambacho tuko pale kambini. He was uh, he was pissed off akaambia niambia hayo mambo they will just confuse you sasa hivi unajua. Yaani achana na muziki sasa hivi. Kamalize kwanza shule na nini? Haya mashindano yapo na nini? But I was so stubborn and I just felt come in my heart come this is my season. This is my crown. I have to go get it. Unajua? So I was stubborn kidogo lakini aka aka akaja akaelewa tu baadaye kwa sababu so stubborn. I think I'm stubborn kama yeye yeah, mwenyewe. Yeah. <laughs> so by the way, uh ni formaliza hilo shindano. Um everybody I'll expect kwamba nitaingia kwenye industry moja kwa moja. Lakini haikuwa hivyo kwa sababu kuna mambo ya um, production ambayo ilikuwa haijaka vizuri na nini na kulikuwa shule na nyewe ilikuwa ina demand sasa okay now you're done come here you need to finish <laughs> so i went back to school uh, ah nilipata changamoto i say 2019 kwa namna nilipata changamoto sana pale shuleni kwa sababu uh, kuna vipindi ambavyo nilikuwa nimekosa kosa sio kwa jili nilikuwa nashindwa lakini unajua you have to meet certain criteria kuweza kufanya mitihani na nini vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo yeah exactly so kuna namna hapo mambo yakawa yameyumba yumba hapo kwa hiyo i felt really down i felt really bad kwa sababu uh, kuna watu wengi sana they thought kwamba now it's unajua it, it, ukiwa unafanya kitu lazima kuna wale ambao wanakusupport kwa moyo mmoja na kuna wengine wanakufuatilia waiting for you to fall down unajua kwa hiyo uh, Mungu actually alionyesha sana pale kwamba there were so many people waiting for me to fall down uh, in the sense kwamba nimeshinda Bongo Star Search lakini shule sijamaliza unajua so nikapambana yani kama patience kama kuomba <laughs> i said 2019 nilijifunza patience isiyo kuwa ya kawaida so i was just going and coming back trying to fix things kwenda kurudi kufanya je nimehangaika sana hapo at the end of the day uh, nikapata chance ya kuweza kufanya mitihani yangu na coursework na nini i was really really depressed kipindi hicho ambacho naangaikia kuweka mambo sawa kwa sababu i had to make sure mpaka na uh, I, 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 i i had to uh, kuna yani likatisha semester ya pili Yeah, I had to catch the semester ya pili kwa semester ya kwanza ilikuwa bado ndio ilikuwa ina mawenge mawenge. So, uh, nika postpone to semester ya pili and then nika mshichoni kabisa imagine kwanza nimeshinda bongo sasa so 2018 uh, mshoni kwa 2019 mpaka September. Ni nikuvutana tu kuhakikisha kwamba naweka mambo sawa chuo. All the depression, all the stress, everything. So uh, my mom don't even want to pick up the phone to just mom please <laughs> pray for me because you know it's too much sometimes yani the pressure is too much sometimes you need to go and go lie at kwa sababu yani you just don't know <laughs> if i remember that moment it was the most challenging moment in my life kwa sababu i really needed to make my dad proud and my family kwa sababu i know kwamba i have the brains i have what it takes to get that bachelor degree unajua <clears throat> so um nikapata nafasi mwishoni 
watu wengi sana wamenisaidia walimu wangu wamenipigania nikaweza kupata nafasi ya kufanya hiyo mitihani and then i made sure kwamba kuani through ile misukosuko na nini Uh, mimi nilikuwa sina uhakika kwamba nitapata hiyo nafasi ya kufanya hiyo mitihani mwezi wa tisa lakini ni, i was very uh, nili carry my faith nikawa nasoma 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 ngasema nikipata chance mimi ya kufanya na ni kufanya mitihani make sure i give them straight A's yani i made sure kwamba i'm going for that so nikapambana nikapambana when I, wakaja wakanipigia simu wakaniambia okay now you can do your exams and everything I was so happy I did not believe it. Nikaenda nikafanya mitihani I made sure I'm, I got straight A's. Yaani I made sure kwamba you guys made a wrong choice. I was supposed to get this bachelor degree. And uh, nashukuru Mungu they realized that and wakanipa hiyo chance and uh, nika nika sikuangusha. Kwa hiyo uh, at the end of the day uh, nikaja kumalizia masomo yangu uh, ile semester ya pili uh, 2020. Uh, watu ndo walikuwa nauliza ulikuwa wapi muda wote huo utangia bongo sasa sio umekuja kurudi 2021 so this is the story behind i was trying to fix my school and i i, I was determined kwamba lazima nimalize shule so uh, nikamaliza uh, shule, shule yangu 2021 na 2020 ndo nime graduate mwezi wa 12 um, i was so happy i remember that day tume tumeingia pale <laughs> Jamani what ni hamna mtu ambaye alikuwa anaelewa furaha yangu pale. Yaani kama hujawahi kupitia misukosuko chuo ama anywhere huwezi you will never understand the joy you know. Mimi nimeitwa pale tumeitwa kama I think we were like 15. Mimi tulikuwa tunafanya kozi yangu and then they were just like okay I crown na 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 wafanyaje na wafa ile na watunuku eh and I was like I cried pale I cried I was shaking and everybody was like <laughs> you all never understand <laughs> what i went through so uh, that moment i felt so grateful nilishukuru sana mungu na my mom was there and she understood what that meant to me and uh, so um, so after that nikaendelea sasa na maisha yangu sasa yale ya kutaka kujiandaa kuingia kwenye industry fina just hapo hapo kipindi unashiriki bcs ulikuwa third year au second year. Ah okay kipindi na shiriki Bongo Star Search nilikuwa mwaka wangu wa mwisho. Nilikuwa mwaka wangu wa mwisho. So nilikuwa ndo ni nipo kwenye semester yangu ya kwanza wa mwaka wangu wa mwisho wa tatu. Yeah. Kwa hiyo uh, nimefanya semester ya kwanza ndo nilikuwa nafanya Bongo Star Search at the same time. So uh, so ndo hiyo misukosuko ilivyotokea then nika postponed nikaja kumalizia 2020. Okay, I'm so sorry. Unajua mtu hawezi kujua, anajua tu Sarafina akashinda alafu hakumpa hela zake ndo maana kufanya tena mziki, you know. Lakini like guys, people are going through a lot. I remember kuna 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 I know I think you know him Sunday Leonard mshindi namba 3. Uh, anasoma our college, um, School of Journalism. Na yeye pia ameshiriki BCS. Uh, Sijai kupata kusikia story yake behind ila I remember kipindi anashiriki kwa pia tunakaribia yani anamaliza tunakaribia hiwi yani i don't know hata si i wish one day i'll get a chance ni skip pia kwake alimwezaje kwa sababu yeye kamaliza unajua okay so pole sana kwa hayo ila hongera you are those strong we imaliza hiyo okay let's continue after school sasa tunarudi kwenye muziki after school sasa nikawa nimaliza and then my dad was like aya what's your plan I was like, "Oh my god, I hate that question." <laughs> so I uh, I can't be okay. Do you want to get married? Do you want to go for your masters? Do you want to yani what is your plan? Do you want to open a business? What do you want to do? Nikamwambia, kwa sababu on the other hand my dad ni mtu mmoja ambaye anasikiliza sana. Like he wants to listen to, you know, what you're thinking. Alafu atakushauri. Unajua? So mimi nikamwambia, 